is everybody ready? Looking forward to a good day. <laughs> we got the market with us. We got a good gap. God knows we deserve an easy day. Targets 22 in the snap. And this is already backed up, so it could back up a little bit more, or we could do it right away. So I think I'm going to be aggressive on this just in case it doesn't back up anymore. Because this is going to go today. And it might go right away. So tonight is Microsoft. Tonight is the first biggie of the biggies. So everyone wants to watch Microsoft earnings at 4 o'clock. That market is down today, and I don't know why we sold off yesterday, other than the fact that I thought that we would, <laughs> but we can go over that later. Oh, so happy we have an easy one. Okay. Snap. Woo, snappy snap. All right, stop's going to be 70. 70, 70. Wow, this is going. I just wait. I don't have the entry yet. Just wait, wait, wait. Wait in case it does bounce here. Okay, this is going to bounce. Let it bounce. Let it bounce. Let it bounce. Okay, let's do, stop's going to be 75, I'll just wait, let's do 20 by 75, 20 by 75 snap. That changes, I'll let you know. Twenty by seventy five is still valid. Okay, let's do 25 by 75. 25 by 75 snap. Go for it, do it, it hit, get in it. 75 is a stop, target's 22, 22, 22 snap. Here you can be in it, you can take it right now. This is not too late. Now let me look at the, <coughs> excuse me, the market. <coughs> Gosh. Market isn't gonna go anywhere higher today. I've been saying that every day for the rest of my life, but. <laughs> You're tired of hearing me say it, so what can I do? <laughs> uh, all right, we're in the snap. Stop is 23.75. I guess we could give it over 75 in case it touches 75, but I really don't think it's going to need it. Um, let's, let's just move it. Let's move it to 23.80. 23.80 just to keep us in this over through a bounce, but I don't even think this is really gonna bounce. 23.80, move it to that for snap. And if for some reason this goes all the way up to 24, we'll retake it, but I don't even think it's gonna happen. Um, this is pushing back slightly here, I think, because I see what the market's doing. Um, <clears throat> this is what I would call, if we were more than three minutes into the open, like a dead cat bounce in here in the gap today. Um, so again, I don't think we're gonna go anywhere higher. <sighs> All right, here, we just touched 75. Let's see if 80 holds. If we get stopped out, we're gonna retake it. Gosh, maybe we should give it 85.
Let, let's give it 85. Just because it almost touched 80. Put it at 85 quick. 23.85 is a stop and snap, and that is it. And if we get taken out there, it's going to go up to 24, and then we'll reshort it. Whew. And if you didn't do it, you could do this again when it hits 25. I'm really going to try to stay with this here today because I do like it. Like, I really, really like it. And I think this just backed up. Here goes the market. So I really don't think either 22 is a crazy target either. So remember, we had a whole discussion about this yesterday. Let's see if anybody remembers. What did we talk about? Does anyone remember what we talked about yesterday that I said was interesting? about a, a, a lecture that I was doing, which I still didn't get the tape for. Does anyone remember what that topic was? It's pertinent to this trade today. I just wanna look and see if there's any econ out. 85 is the new stop in this. Does anyone remember anything I say? <laughs> Probably not. But I do. <sighs> July 22nd. <laughs> it's August in nine days. Where did the summer go? Where is 2020 gone? Yeah, it's gone to COVID. Terrible. Jackie got it. We were talking about gap fills. That's right. And how it's the wrong thing to do, but people do them. Like, and actually think that they're doing something to make money. Like, they actually do them, which is so crazy. Well, let me just see here. Here we go. Snapperama. If you didn't do it, you can do it right here. Okay, nothing out at 9, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock and 10.30. We do have a couple things. Okie doke. Okay, stay with the snap. We're gonna take a look at everything else here. Let's get a preview of the world. Boeing gap down again today. I'm just gonna leave this be until it does something. Does anyone know when those earnings are? That's really gotta have a big move this week for some of those ones to get going. At least to be up anything meaningful. It's gotta just, it's gotta break 170, I think, at this point. <sighs> Apple is red. This is gonna fall. Yay! Everything's gonna fall today. Yay. Now, I'm saying 22, but I mean, once this breaks so low and breaks 23, I guess theoretically we could watch 22.75, You know, I guess we have to watch 22.50. So again, gap fills don't work, and, and, and it's, it was shocking to me to hear that people actually do that as a strategy. I mean, I knew people did, but to hear people talk like they knew what they were talking about, which they don't, was like almost shocking to me. <laughs> it was just very interesting, and it, and it actually gave me even more conviction in what I do, which was funny because there was no logic in what the people were saying whatsoever at all. <laughs> so it was kind of like, 
Oh, all right. Okay. <sighs> so tonight is Microsoft. What else? Any questions from anyone about anything? Oh, let's look at our friend for the putters. This looks really good today. Oh my gosh, does this look good today? Would this just go already? This looks like it's just gonna go, boop, fall off a cliff. Ready for it to do it. Um, I forgot to look at that. I saw that last night, but I like Snap so that I didn't go back to that. I'll look at that this morning. Oh, this looks good too. All right, this here. No, it's not going anywhere. Snap, snap, snap. Wow, it's so great to have an easy day and a quick day. Now, life is back to normal. Really, we should have done nothing yesterday. Did anybody do Netflix yesterday? Did it a couple times. I, we should have done nothing yesterday. It was really hard to do, considering we did nothing Monday. It's like, but I thought about that last night. I was like, gosh, when I say there's nothing, I'm never wrong. I'm just never wrong about that. Because I have to see it in the pre-market. And next time I say there's nothing, somebody say, there's nothing. Or and literally. If I don't see it in the pre-market, it's just not there. And it's either going to be an extremely hard day. It's just not worth it. Jackie did Netflix. Good for you. I saw that that tweet you sent me about de Blasio. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. There's a petition for him to resign. I signed it. I wonder if he's ever going to do it. He's so full of himself, he won't resign. He's so narcissistic. He thinks everyone loves him and everyone can't stand him. He'll never resign. He's so full of himself. Yes, Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Crickets, the market's down. One thing that was good last night, but the market didn't react positive, I'll say, is that Trump said the lockdown was to protect the hospitals. And that, I mean, he didn't come right out and say we're not going to lock down again, but he pretty much, you know, you could have interpreted what he said that we're not going to lock down again. I mean, he could have insinuated that. And I thought that was positive, but the market didn't react positive. <sighs> No, he's not going to get schools open. They're not going to open schools. How much do you want to bet? Schools have to plan. It's July 22nd. These schools start to get ready and do teacher conferences, and the teachers go back in August. And they 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 have no information. And the schools don't have the PPP. I mean, the, sc the schools aren't ready. How's that going to happen? I'm sure it's not going to happen. And they're never going to open the gyms again, which is really annoying, too. Snap! Woo! Um, what else was I gonna say? <laughs> so, I got like 55 rolls of toilet paper yesterday, stashed in the closet, ready to go, in case we get locked down again. I don't know how I was able to get more than one pack. It was like a fluke. I ended up ordering like several different brands, and then what? Amazon doesn't catch it when you do that. Like if if I if I had two packs two four packs of like whatever they are like what's the one with the Care Bears what's the Care Bears one that Care Bears commercial which I absolutely love is hysterical <laughs> what's the Care Bear commercial Charmin yes gosh that reminds me of the Care Bears twenty two eighty seven you could have scaled some off here if you wanted but if you want to hold it I think it's fine um, if I if I like ordered two two things of the same whether it's a four pack a six pack then they wouldn't let you 
So instead I ordered different brands and different size packs and like the system didn't catch it. Yeah, it's, it's Charmin, I guess. I forgot. But they came out with a commercial since COVID that is so Care Bearish-y. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, it's actually a good commercial. Anyone ever watch the Care Bears? It was a long time ago. I don't think the Care Bears are out anymore, are they? It's, uh, it's like strawberry shortcakes. Did anybody ever play strawberry shortcakes? Oh my God, I love those too. They used to have the dolls and you'd scratch them and the dolls smelled like the strawberry shortcakes. <laughs> the blueberry one and the, and the strawberry one. I don't know if they're out anymore either. My assistant, he's got three kids now, and he, and he said they were watching a Smurfs movie. I said, wow, I, I thought the Smurfs were out. I guess the Smurfs are back. I'm like, that's good. Um, you know what? I, 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 I actually didn't check today if their butter is back in stock. So I need, I'm, I figured maybe I'll do another order. I mean, can't have too much toilet paper. Can't have too much butter. <laughs> can't have too much ice cream either, except for I've really been good about not eating it. But the longer this goes on, the chances of me not having wine or ice cream are slim to none. <laughs> I would say it's, it's really going to take some deep concentration and meditation for me to stay off any of these things. Here we are, we're in the snap. This is great. Dream targeting this for the option for those of you that did it, 22, 21. Who knows? It really depends what happens tonight. Because this is in this sector and this could be affected by many, many things in the next 24 to 48 hours, it snaps up a lot. I might get out of everything today in the snap. I'll make that determination later. Because the reality is that snap will not continue tomorrow if Microsoft is up. So not knowing that, it's time to book some profits in some of these options. Some of these options I'm waiting to go. And I'm feeling pretty good about the week, I gotta tell you. The way the market looks right here, the way things are setting up, like I'm, I'm less stressed now than I was like, you know, Monday morning uh, or Monday afternoon even, because I'm like, you know what? I think this week's gonna end up playing out of my favor, even though it was like touch and go for a while there. I have a few, here, snap! I have a feeling something is gonna bomb. Something meaning what? One of two things is gonna bomb, and when it does, the market's gonna sell off, and then all the things are gonna look great. So the bomber could be Microsoft, but I really think the bomber could be Amazon. And the rally that happened two days ago actually made me think that it's gonna bomber, because all of that will be wiped away in a lickety split if it ends up gapping down. Here we go, snap! Here we go, let's watch and see if it breaks 80. If not, then we might get out of it. 9.47. Yep. I think it's it might be Amazon. And as crazy as it sounds, that stock, for the people that did do the puts and stayed with the puts and didn't get out of it last week, it doesn't even have to go that far for that still to be actually a profitable trade, even though it was insane, which is crazy. We'll look at that today. In fact, I'm going to look it up and tell you really what it would be at. I'm going to estimate it, even though it's like two, two, three days ahead. You could be out of this right now. I said 75. It went to 22.77. I'm not being a pig, but I'm just trying to squeeze a little more out of this. Let's look at this Amazon right now because I think if we can get it to, you could be out of the snap. Okay, it's at 31, okay. At the price it's at right now, around 31.26. Okay, at the money right now is worth what? Let's figure this out. At the money, okay. So it needs to be 40, 
40, 29, 40. At 29, 40, it's gonna be break even, I think. Could be 29, 29, 30. Because again, there's time value. So 29, 30, 29, 40 will be break even. So if this does gap down, it's definitely gonna gap down under that number. Like this wouldn't just fall here. So, it, it, I mean, this this I this is insane, but I don't know what this is gonna do. It's either gonna lose or it's gonna win, but anyways, I mean, 29.30 or 29.40 will be break even. Does everyone see that? For the Amazon puts, if you're still in it. Here we go, this is it. I'm not gonna be a pig. Under the low, one more drop down and we're out of the snap. And we could have added. We could have added, we could have been aggressive. I don't think there's any reason for that. Ooh, there's UAL, now it's trying to go. If you want another short today, which I don't, you could short UAL, put the stop at 33.10. I don't really know if it's gonna go anywhere. Actually, this would have been a better entry up here. You could have pulled 70 cents out of it. 32 is the target. This is kind of late. You want to scalp this down to 32. Put the stop at 33.10. UAL. Uh, I don't want to do anything else. Today was too easy. I said the Amazon puts, if you're still in them, will be break even, not down anymore. And you can watch this number around 29.40, maybe 29.30, again, depending when they get there. So that's not that far away. Like, it could even get there today. If we fall into 3,000, we're headed there. I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, if, the, if this gap's down in earnings, it'll be well past that. Do you follow what I'm saying? It'll be well past that at 9.31 on Friday. So do you know what I'm saying? So I know this, this, is, this, did not, this is not anticipated. But again, that could fall tonight with this if this falls. Here's my take on this. Microsoft could gap up. If it does, we're gonna play it long, we're gonna go for it, we're gonna do it all 24 ways till Sunday. Amazon, though, could gap down, and then that will take it into Friday, end of the week. One of the reasons why those puts were so expensive is I did them so close to the money. So did anyone see, so Disney World now, you can't walk around and eat food. I mean, my, my sister, they were gonna go on a trip. Thank God they canceled it. Well, actually it was in June, they weren't open yet, but even if they had pushed it back to July or August, like, can you imagine? Gosh, I'd be so crazy, like, it's just, you wanna, you wanna go on a vacation this summer, but then again, you say, gosh, where's there to go? Where can we live like normal people? Now, again, I'm just gonna caution every, anybody here that did the snap puts. That when you do something that's, these are dirt, dirt, dirt cheap, you know, again, they really gotta move to, to make any money. So, I mean, just, just make money in them. Like, even 30% or 40% is good. Like, when they're so, when they're dirt cheap, like, it's really gotta move to get anywhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so just, you know, be aware of that. Like if you can make 25, 30 cents on these, like be happy, you know what I mean? Yeah, last push. Oh, that's right, Tesla's tonight. How could I forget? This isn't gonna affect the market, that's why I forgot. Um, or is this tomorrow morning? Is it tonight or tomorrow morning? No, I don't think it's gonna affect the market. Is this tonight or tomorrow morning? Does anybody know? I'll have to look it up. It's one of the days. Gyro, are you here? I know you don't go into Twitter and you don't follow any of the celebrity gossip. 
But there was that. Gyro, are you here? You're barely here? Um, <laughs> Kanye West apparently is feuding with his wife and his, his mother-in-law. And somebody did a, 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 a picture. It was hilarious. Of, he called Chris Jenner, Chris Young Moon. If you Google it, it'll come up. It's hysterical. It's really hysterical. It's so funny. He called her Chris Young Moon. And so there's a picture of Kim Jong Un, but they made it look like a uh, like a Chris Jenner. It's just hilarious. <laughs> oh, Tesla's after the market. All right. It's funny. Come on, snap. 20 more cents. 30 more cents. 2277. Yeah, it's funny. All right, what are we doing with our lives? We're waiting for Snap or you got out of it. I don't think it mattered either way. If you wanted to get going, it was fine. If you are still in it, it's fine. Of course, I wanted a fast day. <sighs> Now I've got to wait probably another half an hour because this is backing up. What else can we talk about? What else do we have to go over? Nice morning, fast morning, easy morning. Happy that this worked. Did anyone do the UAL? If I thought that had, it could get any traction going, I'd do it, but it's not the perfect entry doesn't have a lot of traction right now possibility I think past that first target so why are we pushing back today does anybody know I can't see any reason this looks weak this isn't going to go anywhere either but that is why we're pushing back in snapper. Yeah, 9.57. And again, if you get out of this, you could retake it. You could do the exact same setup again if you want. And I'm not, I didn't add it the first place and I'm not gonna add here, but you could like literally, if you get out of it, you could retake it again. I don't like doing that, but you could. Like if you were a psychic and you had a crystal ball, would you could you have even imagined even like seven months ago or six months ago that what would be 2020? Like now we're supposed to wear masks everywhere we go is for the rest of our lives. Like that's not what I want to be doing. Like could you even have imagined that? Like it's like that. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Twenty twenty did sound lucky. Apparently it was the opposite. I don't know. Guess it could be lucky in some ways. The year's not over, but
gosh. Somebody said it. Said that 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 doctor that's just terrible that was on Fox this morning said something about wearing masks for years. Like, are you kidding? You can wear a mask for years. I'm not wearing masks for years. Give me a break. Yeah, it's like crazy town. <laughs> That's your ever for the witness protection program and for criminals. They're all getting out free because of COVID. And now in New York, they have no bail. And people aren't even getting arrested. So <laughs> it's a free for all. Apparently, they cleaned up City Hall this morning. I, I, I don't know. I'll have to see if they cover that tonight. The tent city that was down in City Hall in New York, apparently, they finally are cleaning it up after weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about it. I bet Fashion Week is canceled. Here, let me Google it. That's in September. It's got to be canceled. Everything's canceled. Fashion Week 2020. Oh my God, it's not canceled. The CFDA has confirmed it will hold shows September 14th to 16th. Joining confirmed the shows. Da, 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 da. Well, that is shocking. But you know everyone will be in masks. Of course, that could change in a dime, but it is only six weeks away. Yeah, well, I don't think we ever had the market against us, really. I mean, the, the way that the setup was here this morning, we gapped down. Like I said, this would be considered like a dead cat bounce. Like we're trying to go and we can and we drop. Market's heavy now. Amazon could fall today. I'm not going to do KO. That was bupkis yesterday. If you went after it aggressively, it was fine. And then it looked like it was going to work, and then it didn't. That was annoying. Just we shouldn't have done anything yesterday. And I and I knew that in the pre market, but I mean to to not trade two days in a row during earnings season is like is like the twilight zone. But I guess we're living in the twilight zone now, so it is what it is. Uh, yeah, did anyone do this? I don't want to do two things. But 32 was the number, it came down. Maybe this gets lower. I just feel like this would have bad, was a bad entry here. But you could have scalped this to 32. Here was a perfect entry, but we weren't watching it then. Let me look up when Boeing's earnings are. Doodly do. Is anyone still in Snap? <sighs> oh, you know what? Uh, Ameritrade. Those warnings. I forgot to look at that. Let's look. Boeing not 
like it is during passion fights until early next year july 29th in the morning Yep. So that's something to look forward to next week. We need things to look forward to. Hallmark Christmas movies. Good trades. taken forever though <laughs> a lot of these things that we've been doing in this price point they really haven't been moving much which is odd to me I mean because like with the ones we did were like the banks like they would you know they moved a lot more in the past like that's odd to me and I think Goldman's just dead I, I stopped looking at it this is completely not going to work out and there's no hope for this this week actually we could have shorted this today look at that we could have shorted this today. Ah. All right, we're in this. You could take more, but the stop's got to be the same. We're waiting. Any questions? I've got nothing to talk about. This looks really good though. To the gap options courses tomorrow. Some of you are signed up. I already sent out the password. Uh, what else do we have to talk about? Where can I go on a vacation this year in 2020 where I don't have to wear a mask? <laughs> Because that's where I want to be, <laughs> where I can go out into the world and breathe the air without a mask on. That's where I want to live. South Dakota. <laughs> South Dakota. Yeah. Laura Ingalls Wilder's home and the homestead is there. Oh, I didn't know that. Here we go, snap. That's what I could go for, a good like TV mini series. You know, I'm in the mood for that one, that North and South. The one with Patrick Swayze, the original. Gosh, I would be in the mood for watching that. Good TV miniseries. I love that too. That was the beginning of his career. There was a lot of famous people in that. It was a great story. Great books by John Jakes. Well, it was it was about the Confederacy and the Union. I, I don't know what people would think, but it was it was a great story. Let's just see if I can buy it. I'm sure somehow you can buy it. Okay, we're falling asleep, but this is working. 
and that's positive. We're about 20 cents off the low. If you got out, you could have gone on with your day 15 minutes ago. Oh, what does Simon says make things go? I must have missed that. Does it work? Ugh. There's gonna be more Chinese tensions coming up. Like they closed an embassy in, in Houston this week or yesterday. That was controversial. Like things are happening that they're not talking about and it's gonna come to a head. June home sales were up. It's because everyone is leaving the cities. Oh my gosh, we're still in this, and it looks great. Here we go. So I have no idea what Microsoft does, but in an ideal world, Microsoft gaps up and Amazon gaps down, or Microsoft gaps down and Amazon gaps down. In an ideal world, one or both of those things happen, it would not be ideal if the mark if the Amazon gapped up and Microsoft gapped up for the trades this week. And I don't think it's gonna happen anyways. I think one of them's gonna bomb and I don't know which. But I don't think both of them are gonna be fabulous. Oh sorry, I didn't turn my phone off. are having trouble giving guidance where did you get that from when they report their earnings have you been reading the earnings reports I never do that I don't have time <laughs> On your phone, okay. <laughs> All right, this looks great. Once this drops through the low, we'll see where it goes, but it looks really good. And again, you know, be wary of your profit taking in the puts in this. It's good to book money in something this week too, so. I should have called these for Friday, but. This goes. Oh, 
Okay, let me just check one more thing here. Stay with the snapper. So tonight is Tesla. I, I don't know what that does. It, uh, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, which one are you talking about? Is 69 cents tracking? Well, I don't know which ones did you do? The twenty two? The twenty twos weren't that. Did you do the twenty two fifties? I think the twenty two fifties were that. I could have called the twenty two fifties. Wow, this is really a snail, but I like it. Wow, do you think we might get this to 22 now? Wow, that would this is, that would almost be worth it. Holding this, let's see how this acts here. Let's look at the market. This would almost make it worth sitting here for 45 minutes. If that, who keeps calling me? Hold on one second, everybody. Just hang on in case this is like the building or something. The phone keeps ringing. Hang on one second. <laughs> 